What is going on everyone, we're back again with an review in today's video. This feature premiere is all about the Nintendo Switch, what features it's going to have on it, and what features it's not going to have on it, because I'm pretty sure they said it's not going to have the, the same features as PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, S, and X. So that's the one thing they did say, but we'll go and see what features they do have in this as well. So yeah, as you can see from the video, there wasn't that much stuff that was really crazy announced as we scroll through this. I mean, all they said that like the version we played on the tech test was like a little rundown. It was like two weeks old apparently from now. So that was interesting to hear them talk about that. Nothing really much. They said the Switch is just going to have the normal modes. No stadium creator on the Switch. Nothing like that. You can't use the stadium. It's none crazy. Um, kind of already stuff you kind of already expected. It's pretty much the same as like the PS4, or the Xbox One edition, just like toned down a little bit on graphics and all that stuff. Like I don't really don't think they needed a feature premiere here, but they kind of just have it. Like I said, I much wanted like a franchise one since they have not talked about it. They actually mentioned it in the stream for once, so it that's good. It is in the game, but once again, I don't think they're updating it. I think they're really trying to push March to October for some reason. Don't know why it is trash and i don't know why you would want to play it unless your team is going to win like that's the only reason to play that mode um because you're not going to rebuild a team that is down there because you can't make trip so, yeah so anyways that mode's trash but yeah so they did mention franchise which is pretty cool um but yeah there's nothing crazy in this like little episode i mean just kind of everything we expect they had the questions at the end which was pretty cool they could have just played that to sum everything up on twitter or in an article but they wanted to make a whole feature premiere on it i guess don't really know why but hey it's their it's their game their decision they can do what they want i guess so yeah nothing really crazy on that front though but yeah if you, you guys can enjoy the rest of the reaction but this is it from me and i'll tune back into the normal audio and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next video peace out speaking of the tech test the build that everybody played on in the tech test is about two weeks old and you oh, notice you know, it's not exactly 100 percent optimized however yeah. by the time you watch this episode of the feature premiere the nintendo switch version will have undergone a lot of optimization and updates so the footage that you're going to see here is much more solid and has a much more solid frame rate than what was available in the tech test huh. we are targeting gameplay at 30 frames per second oh, no. we will let the video do talking so you're just going to see video of 100 switch footage as we can continue to talk about 30 frames is kind of bad on an online game year. yeah ramones right here at the main menu we've got road to the show we've got diamond dynasty march to october and franchise so it's really like a full finally mentioned franchise for once mm -hmm. and that also includes about time. challenge of the week moments home run derby anything is last year on here online rated retro mode custom leagues the brand new online co-op custom practice but let's not forget all the modes inside Diamond Dynasty, like Conquest and Battle Royale. No matter what version of the game you're playing, you will get all mm -hmm. of the core modes. However, That's expected. Stadium Creator is That's a next-gen only feature. So the only way you can take advantage of Stadium Creator is that makes sense too, because I probably can't even handle it. Or too much hardware Xbox probably. Or does not have enough storage for it. Yes. For instance, with the Joy-Cons, you, know, you can take them out uh, off the Switch, dock fun. your Switch. You can play a home run derby. That's exactly what I did, Ramon. You know, when you go into that's Home true. Run Derby, Ken Griffey I feel like the Switch is more of a party kind of console, so I think these would be kind of fun. Bombs, lefty, you play with your friends said, on you these. You know what? Let's bring in a new legend, too. So how about we do that? Let's bring in a new legend, and you might have seen we revealed Kurt Gibson today, mm -hmm. Dodgers legend, and man, I Kurt had some Gibson. fun hitting bombs with him. We're looking at the footage right now, and he's also a big lefty hitting those home runs. So we're going head-to-head -head with Griffey Jr., and Kirk Gibson, Ramon, known for that oh, World Series home run. Game so weird on the Switch. All Dodgers fans who were born, or maybe their dads or moms were there and told them about it later. That was a moment in Dodger history everyone will remember. And we have the animation captured in the game. Look at that, Ramon. He's got that fist pump. Oh, going. he's got it in the game? Oh, that's sick. He's even hitting it off Dennis Eckersley. It's electric and it's fun, especially when you hit the walk-off bomb, just like he did back in the World Series. And that's not that's it. You know, we've already revealed a few new legends, but we will have more to reveal in the coming weeks as we head towards early access. Mm. That's true. You can just take and your Switch. Now, thing of the past. You got a Nintendo Switch. Take it with you on that family vacation. Got to buy it again, Absolutely. though, probably. And to be able to do that, you want to make sure that you create a show account. All you got to do is go to the show.com to link your accounts, and you'll be good to go. And remember, co-op, yes, you and your friends can play co-op 
Link up with your friends. Probably gotta buy the game again on the Switch two, though, three and then three have it on your console, I guess. But that's not that big of a deal, at least for and me. But I know people yeah, will get so mad I about be that. On vacation, Ramon. On my Nintendo Switch, you can be at home on another console. We could still link up on that co-op mode. Absolutely. If you played in a tech test, you might have also noticed yeah, two new, new difficulties. difficulties. Amateur and minor. So with MLB The Show 22 coming to Nintendo Switch, we added some extra difficulty levels to help ease some of our new fans into the game. Yeah, I noticed in the tech test, Ramon, I was playing on the amateur level and the minors. These are those easier beginner levels. Get that are they only on difficulty. Switch, probably? That's get what I would imagine. Pitch speeds, the swings, hit a few home runs, watch them sail, get a little of that confidence going. We are so excited that MLB I think it's the only on the Switch because so I didn't see it on the Xbox. So on the and I have next gen, so. But we know Switch is going to be great. But with anything new, there are likely lots of questions. So we're going to take a couple of minutes to clear some Question things time. Up. Here we Colin. go. Hey, Ramon, is Stadium Creator on Switch? No, sir. Stadium Creator is only. So just kind of reiterating some of the things he kind of just said, pretty much. X slash S. All right, Ramon, we got another question. The fans are going to wonder is if I can play online on Nintendo Switch. Yes, all modes that support online play are available on the Switch version of Maybe that Nintendo internet connection. It does require a Nintendo online subscription. Very important and that to have too. that, <laughs> as well as an internet connection, because you can't play online without connecting to the internet. How about co op, Ramon? Yes, you can play online co op on Nintendo Switch. It also does require a Nintendo online subscription. I'm sure a lot of our fans are wondering this one. That's a good one, too. game size and downloading, do you have any information for us? Yes, the final game will roughly be around 20 gigabytes. It's not bad. Some of that will be copied from the game card. However, most will be downloaded from the internet. To get the full experience of MLB The Show... It's not bad, 20 gigs on the console? All the modes, you will need to download that content update. All right, got another one here, Ramon. Docked versus handheld. Any differences with the game? Good question. No difference in modes or features or functional differences either. However, when undocked, we do reduce the resolution, much like other games, to improve performance and battery life. Hmm. Ramon, uh, cross progression. How does that work and what is shared and what isn't? Right, so cross progression. All grinded stubs, you can move freely throughout any console and platforms you choose. I mean, However, yeah, I think if you purchase stubs on the Nintendo eShop, you can only use those stubs oh, on Nintendo Switch. And the same goes for any other platform oh, okay. you purchase stubs on. Well, the I'm too crazy here, though. So does MLB The Show 22 on Switch use the motion controls on the Joy-Con controllers? No, sir. We do not use the motion controls on the Joy-Con. In terms of versions, I know MLB The Show 22 is available in both digital and physical. What versions are available on Switch? MLB The Show 22 on Switch is available in physical standard edition, digital standard edition, and a digital only deluxe edition, which you can purchase at the Nintendo eShop. We have more feature premieres coming. Is that it? Next week as really we short episode. All, right. all the changes to gameplay. With Kyle Saul from the gameplay team, he'll be returning to the mic with me. Next one, others. gameplay updates. So be ready next Important Thursday one. at 3 p.m. Pacific on Twitch and YouTube. The seeds as yeah, it sounds like that's pretty much it together. for See this feature premiere. Next week. Yeah, a little short one. Probably like, what, 13 minutes long? I mean, nothing crazy. Just kind of running over some things about the show that we kind of already knew um, on the Switch. I mean, you know, I kind of wish they talked about franchise in this one over this because a lot of this was already confirmed information so i don't really know why they made a feature premiere for this like it was yeah like the chat kind of saying kind of useless honestly um there was only like what two good questions maybe the docked one the motion controls and then probably another one i'm forgetting but i rather had i would rather had in franchise mode like that guy said in the chat online franchise like that's what i kind of wanted to see in that one but there was nothing real like that. But I don't know if you guys enjoyed this video once again. Um, not much really to take away from this. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you go follow all my socials. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.